Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my entire bag collection. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you all of my handbags, my tote bags, my backpacks, even the bags I take with me traveling, just literally every single bag. So yeah, if you'd like to see my entire bag collection then please keep on watching. Um, before I get into it, I'm going to share some random things first. The lipstick that I'm wearing is the L'Oreal Color Riche Naomi's Delicate Rose from their La Vie Rose collection. It's just this really nice like bubbly pink um, marshmallow scented lipstick and it's really light pink. Um, here's my outfit of the day. It's this tank top from Cotton On Body and my pyjama shorts are from Peter Alexander and they have um, the Little Mermaid um, like fish all over them which is really cute. Um, but yeah, I'll get straight into the collection now. I'm going to start off by showing you my only um, authentic bag. Now if you don't like um, fake bags, replica bags, dupe bags, then this probably is not the video for you. You can click out now. It's um, yeah, I'll have some replica bags later on, so if you don't want to see those, click away. But this is my only authentic bag, and this is the Dior Boston bag. I don't know exactly what size this is. This was my mum's previously, and she literally didn't even use it one time. And I said, Mum, can I steal that bag off you? And she said, Emily, you can have it. And I was like, thank you, Mum, because I love this bag. I wear it all the time. I think the colours are really classic. It goes with everything. It's a very trendy bag at the moment right now, but... um. You know, I think I'll be using this forever because it is such a timeless shape. I think the shape is like, you know, a Dior version of a Speedy. Um, I really like the print. I love the gold hardware. Um, it just has the Dior Ds and I love all the details. It has a little lock on this side. It doesn't have um, a key though. Maybe the key's lost. I don't know. It's not in the best condition. As you can see, um, it's a little bit discolored on the bottom there. I'm not sure if it'll turn up. And um, the handles are, the leather's like a little bit like... I don't want to say cracked because that makes it sound like it's like crumbling off, but like the leather is starting to age. Um, you know, as my mum had this, she didn't like, it wasn't her favourite bag ever, so it isn't in the best condition ever, but it's still in a very high condition for the bag. It's just not like pristine, pristine. Um, but yeah, it's not brand new. This is a vintage bag um, that was my mum's previously, but I love it very much and I wear it all the time. It has these really cute feet on the bottom as well um, and I just feel so like cute and girly when I carry this bag. Um, it isn't my favourite shape of bag of all time and it'll become very obvious in the rest of this video what my usual go-to like shape of bag is. Usually I go for a tote bag or a little over the shoulder like side bag. Um, but a cute little carry bag like this is very trendy right now and I am getting into um, this kind of size and shape. Um, but yeah, I love this bag very much. It's my only actual designer bag and it lives right here where I can see it all the time because I love it and it's special to me. It's for my mum. Okay, the next bag I'll show you is, oh, you know what? I'll show you this. This is an Ikea tote bag. I think it costs 75 cents. Um, it's very trendy. It's like um, the Balenciaga dupe of the Ikea bag, except this is the actual version. Um, it looks like this. It has little small handles so you can carry it like this. Or it has a big handles so you can carry it like this. Or, you know, over the shoulder. If you're a child, maybe you can wear this crossbody. Um, I do have loads of the big version of these as well, which I use as my laundry hampers. But I won't be showing that to you today. Sorry, there's like hair and fluff stuck to this. But yeah, that's what's sitting on my bedroom floor next to me. I also have cut up Ikea bags before and made outfits out of the material. Like, I made a funky skirt out of Ikea material. And I've made a pair, a pair of pants with... um. Ikea logos running down the side, that's fun too. But yeah, 75 cents, practical bag. Okay, I'm just like grabbing bags that I can see around me in my room. My room's a bit of a mess right now, so like there's random stuff everywhere. I'm just gonna grab this bag and show it to you. This is the bag that I recently, actually this was my most recent um, What's My Bag video on my channel. It's of this little um, June London like over the shoulder bag. So as you can see, it has a very long strap. I usually wear it over the shoulder like this and it just kind of hits at my hip perfectly. Um, it looks like this and if you want an in-depth like um, look at this bag. It is in that What's My Bag video, but um, usually I travel with this bag because there are so many compartments in it. There's just lots of space um, to keep your things organized and it's really t easy to access on the go. Um, I like the security of the snap. It's like a very secure closure and you can zip up this compartment so you can make sure people don't get, it, like, don't get into this compartment. Um, but there are also easy to access compartments that don't have any zips. So if you just want to throw like um, a transport card in there, that's easy as well. But yeah, overall really like this bag. Also has gold hardware. Um, and I have a full What's In My Bag video on my channel of this bag if you want to go check that out. Okay, I'm going to run away and grab some more bags, bring them over and show them to you guys as well. So the next bag that I have to show you guys is actually my favourite bag that I own. It's my favourite bag of all time, um, except for that one, obviously. Um, and this is my 
Chanel classic flap. I believe this is in the classic medium size and um, this is obviously a replica. It looks very fake. It is very fake. This was given to me by a friend. I think she went to Malaysia and bought this for me and brought it back for her. Um, she brought it back from me when she went on um, one of her holidays there. And yeah, I love this bag so much. It does obviously look very fake, but I don't care. Um, when I imagined my dream bag in my head, this is the bag I envision. And then Chanel just happened to make that. Um, I really like the design, how it's this perfect shape. I like how you can wear it over the shoulder or you can make it like a long kind of crossbody bag like that. That's like perfect to me. Um, I love the way that this is black. I feel like that goes with most outfits. Um, and I also also just like the way the sh bag is shaped and like how it flaps over how you can open it up like this and there's another flap in there and then there's the compartments in there like that um, I have a bunch of junk in there right now hair sanitizers a lip balm hand cream but yeah love this bag so much I love the secret compartment down the back there I love the zippered compartment on the top and I love the easily accessible little smile pocket on the back I just love everything about the design of this bag it is my dream bag it is perfect I love it so much um, I don't really feel the need to get an authentic one in my life at this moment because I love this fake one so much. It's so perfect and I'm not afraid to wear this one, you know. If I want to go to the club, I'm not afraid to throw this over my shoulder. I just love this bag so much. It's my favourite. It's my favourite. It's the perfect size. Um, it's just my dream bag. If I had drawn my dream bag from my mind, from like my childhood or my imagination, I'm not even kidding, this is the bag that I would have drawn. And I was so excited when I discovered the Chanel Classic Flap was the like actualization of my dream bag from my mind. I was like, wow, that's so perfect because you'll see from the rest of the bags that I have, I love this shape. This is like my favorite shape of bag and I always tend to reach for bags that are this shape and with um, straps that kind of go like this or even just ones that stay long all the time because I'm usually over the shoulder like that. But yeah, love this bag so much. I'm actually gonna pop it behind me for the rest of the video because it is my pride and joy along with, of course, my Dior bag, the Dior bag is you know, but this one, baby. Um, the next one I have to show you guys is another Chanel classic flap that's also fake. This one I bought myself. This is a thrifted one and it's kind of flatter. I don't know. It just kind of sits flatter. Um, maybe if I fill it with stuff or maybe I should stuff it, it would fill out a bit more. But this one has gold hardware um, that is broken up here. If you can see that, the strap is broken. I bought it broken when I thrifted it. Um, but yeah, this cost me like 12 or $15 at a thrift store. Um, I really like the iridescent texture on the fake leather. I'm pretty sure this is fake. Anyway, inside it has, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but like um, the little pocket down the back there. Um, it doesn't have um, the zip on the top. Sorry, I was stumbling on my words. And um, inside there's the little CC logo and then that's what the inside looks like. Um, but yeah, I hauled this on my channel a while ago. Um, I love it because, you know, the only issue with this bag is sometimes it doesn't pair well with like lighter or more springtime outfits, whereas this does because it matches those springtime outfits. It's literally that bag just lower quality fake and um, matches more lighter outfits. So I do wear this. I've worn it out already and I love it. It's so cute. Um, the next bag I have to show you, you'll really be able to notice that I like this style. Um, this is one that I recently stole back off my mum. I gave it to her because I felt like I wasn't wearing it for a while, but now I stole it back off her because I'm going to wear it again. Um, it's just from Portman's. I'll show you the inside. Um, Portman's, which is a brand that we have here in Australia, just looks like that on the inside. It is um, kind of like a dupe or like similar style. It doesn't have the adjustable strap. It just comes like that. But I just think it's a really cute little sweet little shoulder bag like that. Um, cute little clutch for like going out or something. I just think it's really cute and I love satin. Um, satin's one of my favorite materials to wear, especially going out. And I like that it's pink satin. It's so girly and cute. Um, and even just to wear as like a little like um, wallet on chain kind of thing, or like a handheld clutch thing or over the shoulder. I just thought it was really sweet. Um, so yeah, silver hardware on this one. And then that iconic like Chanel style chain that has like the Chanel style quilting, but obviously it's not Chanel. It's like a little Portman's clutch, but love this so much and it's so cute. Um, another bag that I have, you'll notice these are all the same. Where is it? This one. Okay, so this is my Victoria's Secret. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's something street. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember right now. Um, it's the street that, it's Bond Street. This is the Bond Street bag from Victoria's Secret. Um, I like this um, because obviously the color, it's like that perfect baby pink. Um, it's like the baby pink version. Oh my gosh, I almost fell off my chair. It's like the baby pink version of this bag. 
Um, and so I also wear this one when I'm wearing more springtime outfits and I feel like this bag will be too dark. Right now it's a little bit misshapen because um, I squashed it with a pair of shoes, but it'll puff out when I like leave it without a pair of shoes on top of it. Um, but yeah, it has a gold um, strap and this hardware is actually very like heavy and high quality on the Victoria's Secret bags. I don't know why, but they're just like it's a really decent hardware. So yeah, this is a really heavy, decent way to chain. Obviously at the back, there's a the little pocket here and then um, you can just open it up. And I've also got some junk in this one. I've got a pair of sunglasses. I've got, um, I think this is a hand cream. Yeah, this is a hand cream from Burt's Bees. I have a lip balm and a really cute little hand sanitizer that's just from uh, Bath and Body Works. But yeah, that's what I have in this bag right now. But um, I'll fill it with junk when I'm actually going somewhere, but it just has that little one compartment there and then one big compartment um but yeah this is the same kind of shape that i love where you can wear it over the shoulder or like a little cross body like whatever you want same kind of shape and style that i love except i'm not as into the chevron as i am into quilting obviously but i did want to have one chevron bag in my collection just because if i was to get a designer bag i would never get a chevron one so i thought i may as well get like a high street kind of bag that is chevron because then i feel like i'm joining the chevron kind of not trend but like I feel like chevron is cute I just would rather get um nine times out of ten I'd rather get quilted and also they don't I think make Victoria's Secret bags um quilted at least they didn't in the year that I bought this they only had the chevron ones I just thought the chevron was really cute okay I just thought it was cute um but yeah the Bond Street bag is like their signature bag um or it was the signature bag from Victoria's Secret the year that I picked this up um and I really like this bag I've worn it a lot I wore it on my birthday as well I just think it's a classic and it's easy to wear and it's just like subtle you know the branding's not really in your face or anything it's just like a nice classy bag um and the quality's really good of that chain um okay i have some more crossbody bags because that's how i live um this is a really cute yellow one i actually wore this on my first date with my boyfriend um when i first met him the very first time it's actually a bit battered now that i look at it but um it's just a really cute little sweet little bag it's from the brand dotty i believe yes it is um don't look inside it's like kind of really old but it's just um a little yellow bag it has like a couple compartments here and then a zippered compartment at the back and then like one large compartment that i usually throw my wallet into and i just think this bag is really sweet um just wearing it like crossbody like this i feel like i'm like in a little movie carrying like a little like satchel and i just feel really cute i feel like this gives me like studio ghibli like little knapsack vibes. I don't know what I'm saying. It's just cute, okay? And I like how this little action is so easy to get into. Um, the length of it is really good. It has an adjustable strap, but I haven't ever adjusted this. I think I actually received this as a hand-me-down from my mum's cousin. So thank you to her um, if it was from her. It was ages ago that I received this now, but um, I've kept it. Yellow is my favorite color. And so I just think it's such a cute little bag. I love it so much. Um, and yeah, I wore this on my first date with my boyfriend. Um, which is probably the most exciting thing I've worn this bag too, but, um, yeah, I do wear this sometimes, especially with, like, primary coloured outfits, this, like, pops so much. If I'm wearing something red with this cute little yellow bag, it, like, pops, or if I'm wearing, like, an all denim outfit, this is so, like, cute with everything. It's just such a cutesy bag. Um, I have two leather bags here that were gifts from my grandma. One of them I've worn a lot, one of them I haven't worn at all. So they, I think this one was for Christmas and this one was for my birthday, or maybe they were both for my birthday. It was a while ago that I received this bright blue one, and usually um, you'll notice that I don't really typically buy leather bags for myself. I am vegetarian, so usually I reach for like synthetic um, leather instead, but my grandma buys me leather and um, it, it isn't something I typically buy for myself, but it is a really nice gift. Um, so this is the blue one and it's a really good size. It fits a phone perfectly and also um, like a wallet. So yeah, it has two pouches if you can see that. Um, and then you could possibly shove something down the center there. Sometimes I shove like a credit card in there, but um, I worry that it'll get stuck. So I don't really pop stuff down the middle there. And I also don't want to stain the leather on the inside with coins or anything. So usually I just use these two compartments and it's kind of like fluffy inside if you can see that. Um, but it's very, very soft. This is a beautiful little leather pouch. Um, very high quality and I love the color of blue that this is um, this is really good for traveling as well um, because it's over the shoulder um, if I'm just going somewhere into like another state for like a little trip um, it's just something easy to throw on and it doesn't like interfere with your outfit too much or anything it's just like very flat and compact it's like a little pouch on a strap you can also remove the straps from this one um, if you don't want to wear it with the straps and you can just have it as a little pouch or a wallet I never do that actually but I could if I wanted to but yeah it has little silver hardware on it like the little clips and the button are all silver and it was just a really really thoughtful gift and it's so high quality it's just very 
beautifully made that's why she gave it to me because she was like that is such a beautiful shade of blue and it's so beautifully made I thought you would like it Emily and I said thank you because I do it is beautiful um the other bag from my grandma that I haven't worn very much at all not once that one I've worn a lot um but this one I got for my 21st birthday which was last year and I just haven't gotten around to wearing this bag but um it's from this brand things terrific as you can see I literally haven't worn it because the tag is still on it um but um it's this gorgeous really beautiful little red um over the shoulder bag and this kind of gives me the same vibe as um this yellow bag does if that makes sense like it's just very so cute it's just so cute um so yeah it's just a really high quality cute little bag um it's got a zippered top which is really convenient and it also has um this side pocket which i'd probably put my phone into there's a dollar in there i don't know if my grandma put that in or if i put that in i feel like my grandma did i don't think i put that in there if she did that was really cute i didn't even notice that when it was my birthday that's really cute anyway if it was me then lol um but yeah inside there's like this separating compartment in the middle so you can like maybe put some things on this side like lip gloss and some makeup and some sunnies wallet on this side maybe i'm just making it up and then there's this zippered compartment as well and if you can see on the inside there's that cute little seahorse detail that's the same as the one on the outside which is i think the thing's terrific like logo that's their website if you want to check them out it's gonna focus I think you can kind of see it. Anyway, um, and it says things terrific there as well. That's the brand. But something that she did that was really cute and really special is she actually stamped um one of the zips. I don't know. If, oh yeah, it can focus. There's a little gold E on it. She just, she's so sweet and she just made this bag like personalized and it just is so like cute. This is such a nice like gift for a twenty first, like a really good, high quality, beautiful um bag. And I I know I haven't worn it yet. Um, but. You know, I have lots of opportunities opportunities to wear this and I can see this um, being worn for many years to come and being very well loved. Um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful gift and I love it so much. But yeah, this is the bag from my grandma and I love it and I love just the little like personalized details. She's really thoughtful. So um, on this one, she had a little E and I don't know, that, that E made a big difference to me. Not that I wouldn't have liked it if it didn't have an E, but it just made it like all the more special. She's really good at, when we were kids, she used to like put our names on everything. She'd like, if she gave us um, a toy, she'd write E on mine and T on my sister's. My sister's name starts with T. And it'd just make us like know whose toy is whose. But also it was just like, I always thought she was finding personalized toys for us, but she wasn't. She was just writing them on with a Sharpie. But I thought it was really cool that she was finding personalized toys for our names. I just thought it was cute. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry, that was a bit of a tangent. I'm going to go into some backpacks for a bit now and then get back into handbags later. Um, this is my bright yellow Cancan backpack. I know it comes in a darker shade of yellow too, but I picked this up on clearance at David Jones in the brightest yellow shade and I love it. I thought about buying this for ages um, and then thought I'd like, you know, maybe skip the trend. And so when I saw this one on clearance at David Jones, I did not regret picking that one bit. I jumped at the opportunity to buy it. Um, it now has like hair ties. Um, stuck to the zippers, um, which I just find convenient like place to hide some hair ties and keep them easily accessible And also helps me zip the zippers more easily, although there's nothing wrong with these zippers. I just was being extra um, There's a load of junk in here right now like um, this random Brandy Melville hair tie This hairbrush from Batiste that's orange and cute. Um, this is usually my beach bag and I love it for the beach That's why it's really like dirty and stuff. I've loved it so much already this summer um, to the point that the bottom of the bag is already like soft when you buy these bags they're more stiff and then as you use them they become like softer and the bottom is already soft um not in a bad way it, like just becomes like used and like comfortable and more slouchy um but yeah love the color of this i love this bag so much it's so bright yellow is my favorite color so it's a very happy bag and definitely one of my favorite backpacks i'll show you my other backpacks right now actually so this next bag that I have to show you guys today is my cheer bag. It's a big mess because um, I'm literally at cheer like three times a week. So this bag is very active in my life. It's always being thrown around. I take this everywhere. Sometimes I take it to uni and work as well. Um, it's got a load of stuff stuck to the front. Um, it smells funny all the time. Not in a bad way. It's just like there's like lots of different deodorants and perfumes from like 
cover up the smell of like sweaty things that get thrown in here. I throw my like practice wear in here after practice. My shoes live in this bag. Um, but yeah, this is my Infinity Camo Backpack. I have a What's In My Backpack video up on my channel already. If you want to check that out, I actually have two of those. One of them is just like normal practice edition. And then I also have a competition edition What's In My Bag from this. So if you want a more detailed look inside this bag, then those are up on my channel. Um, and I'll probably upload an updated version of those videos um, this season as well, as things with my bag have changed over the year. And um, I use this a lot. So the things in here are like high rotation. Um, but I'll pull out a couple of things. I have an eaten bag of grain waves in here. Check out my Crunchy Kellogg's reusable clip. Love that. Um, what else is in here that I can show you? Um, my perfume so that I don't smell bad at practice. My favourite. Pink Sugar from Aquilina. Other than my favourite signature fragrance. Um, the original Chloe fragrance. That's probably my fave. And then I have um, a hairbrush that my dog ate at the bottom, thank you, she is a beagle, and it has an elastic band stuck in it. So yeah, that is some stuff that lives in here. This bag is, okay, I'm gonna put it down. Very heavy, it's full of stuff. Um, another bag that's full of stuff as well is my backpack. This is my Herschel backpack, um, and I bought this years and years and years ago now, and I've been wearing this to university. Um, the university um, semester has just started up for me this year, so yeah, I'm back in semester, and this is the backpack that I've been wearing to uni. Um, I also take this bag with me to work a lot. Um, some stuff in here is a hand salve, um, hand sanitizer, which I've used almost all of it up. Um, and then obviously my laptop so I can do work on it, my laptop charger. I have my nursing uniform in here. There is a bunch of stuff in here. Sometimes there's a lip gloss in this top compartment. But yeah, I will do a total like what's in my Herschel backpack video coming up just because um, this is a really high use backpack for me in my like work day life, you know school life but yeah I love this backpack so much when I was in high school I used to be um a backpack person wear backpacks to school because obviously I was a student and I was breaking like a backpack every two weeks like I was taking so many different bags with me to school and I would trash them at school because at high school you're just like running around like I don't know it was crazy times and so like I trashed so many bags at school and every time my parents were like why are all these bags being broken I was going to school with like bags that I'd like duct taped the the straps back onto the bag because the straps would rip off which was a really common thing and I saw a load of people at school had this bag and it was like I don't know I felt like it was kind of trendy and um I liked how simple and plain and basic it was like it has nothing really like jumping out it goes with everything it's just like a simple boring backpack but it's not boring it's really good because I've had this backpack since I was in high school maybe I bought this when I was like 15 16 14 I don't know around then and I'm 21 now so I've had this for years and years and years and it is in such good condition like this backpack has really held up through the test of time the only aging on this backpack is on the bottom where it has peeled but considering how much I have dragged this around this is very minimal peeling I have literally dragged this across my school like this is like as minimal beat up as possible for considering how crazy I was in high school with this bag like this went with me everywhere I dropped it off everything I'd thrown it around like this backpack has lived a life um and also the leather not leather it's not real leather the fake leather at the top also um is like peeling a little bit but this doesn't come off and like make a mess on my hands you know sometimes when leather it starts to peel and it starts getting really messy this bag doesn't do that it's very subtle considering how many years I've had this this is very minimal peeling um but yeah it has these little details here I like the brown on the black this also came in like a couple of other colors I was considering getting the navy but I'm glad I went with the black because um I just feel like black is like suits my vibe more um and I also thought it was cute how it's like um red on the inside so I feel like it's really easy to find stuff in there I'll show you um I have my backpack um <laughs> I have my laptop in my backpack this is what my laptop looks like um I have a load of stickers from um Star Wars on it they're just a load of Star Wars stickers um but yeah that is my uni backpack. I'll show you proper what's in my uni bag sometime or what's in my work bag, but love this backpack so much. I definitely recommend getting a Herschel backpack if you're looking to invest in a very high quality backpack. It wasn't the cheapest thing ever, but it wasn't expensive either. And especially considering how long I have had this bag for and how much use I've gotten out of this, totally, totally worth it. I would definitely do this again. You can also thread something here through the front. I sometimes thread like a napkin scarfy, like necktie kind of thing through there. I don't have one right now, but yeah, love this bag so much. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. 
Um, another bag that is very practical that I definitely recommend is my country road bag. Now mine is very beat up. This used to be bright red, but it has faded because I've had it for a very long time. So it's faded to this pink color, but these are the TARDIS of bags. Like you can fit anything in here. I could probably fit all the bags I've shown you today. Actually, I know I can. I can fit every single bag that I own inside this one tote bag if I want to. Um, Maybe I should do a What's in My Country Road bag one time when I go on a weekend trip. But this is the perfect weekender bag. I use this at school sometimes as well when I felt like having a different bag and switching it up from my backpack. I used to switch it up. Like when I was in high school, I'd like wear different bags sometimes. But this one also is very high quality. As you can see, it's very durable canvas. Um, this was given to me by a gift. But um, this was given to me as a gift from my aunt for Christmas one year and um, I have loved it ever since. She got me the red colour which was a very good choice because I love this colour of red that it originally was and I still like it even though it's really faded. Um, I just love this bag. I'll show you what's on it. I have a key ring on it which was a gift from a friend um, and it says Emily and there used to be a diamond at the top of the diamond fell out but I thought that was a cute little personalised gift that was really cute of her. And then I have this from my grandma and like you can tell my grandma gives like really cool gifts. Um, she gave me this pod. How cool. And then you unclip the pod and then it's like a little wooden little thing in there. So it's like little leather straps over the pod and then inside this little circular cool thing. It's like you could put something in there. So sometimes um, if I need to take off my earrings, I hide earrings in here. You could put some coins in here, but I don't usually put coins in here because then it rattles. But like I usually put jewellery in here if I'm like taking off my jewellery or sometimes I do coins. It, it rattles though. So yeah, usually I put like small little, you know, tidbits in there and it's just so cute and I put it on this bag because it was red and I felt like it goes um, this bag has like handles so you can like lug it over your shoulder like this kind of vibe or it also has this big strap so if I'm going on a like trip into a different state or something you can carry it like that over the shoulder it's just a really good decent going away bag and I use it all the time there's also this little pocket at the front which is stained at the bottom because I filled it with junk over time this is a very very well loved and very high quality canvas bag totally recommend country road bags because they hold up through the test of time and they're good. They're very good. Um, okay. I think the last bags, I just like threw that on the floor. The, it's okay. It's in a safe place. Don't worry. The last bags I have to show you, um, are my old uni bags. Um, well, my old uni bag and my replacement one now. So I used to wear this bag to uni and this you've seen on my channel before when I showed you my what's in my uni bag video, but this is, it's covered in my hair. This is my old Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote that I purchased off Facebook Marketplace one time and look at the straps. It is busted. It wasn't very high quality, but who cares? I had fun with this bag. Um, I'm probably going to cut this up and make something funky out of the um, patterned canvas plasticky stuff, but yeah, the inside is totally trashed. Um, it was fun bag while I had it and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I have like broken it here or it broke itself, whatever. Um, loved this bag, but it's all gone. So this is the last time I'll show you this bag. This is the rest in peace video. Thanks bag for a wonderful time. I had lots of fun with this bag actually. I felt really fun like and cute wearing it. Um, but the other day I was at the thrift store and I actually found its replacement. Um, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to purchase the, um, I think this is called the Demier. It's one of the Demier prints. I'm not quite sure how to say it, but I purchased the exact same bag. Um, in a different print. So yeah, this is um, the exact same Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM size um, bag and I purchased this at a thrift store um, in my recent vlog for like $25. These straps are not in the best condition, I'm not sure if you can tell, but they're already a little like cracked and stuff, but I didn't care because for $25 um, I immediately filled it with a bunch of junk and have already taken this with me to uni. There's my um, cheer national champion jacket in here. Ooh, these are my glasses that I wear um, when I'm doing work on the laptop. They're for like um, blue light glasses. They're really good. And I have also a crushed up pop tart in the bottom of here. We don't actually get pop tarts here in Australia. So this is um, from the US and then I bought it. Well, my boyfriend actually bought this for me. Thanks, Will. Um, he bought it for me from um, an easy mark, but it's crushed up if you can tell. It's like it's sad, but I'm still going to microwave that and enjoy it. Actually, I'm going to eat this at placement next week. I have a nursing placement next week. But yeah, I love the inside of this bag, how it's bright red. I just think it looks really good. Um, when I bought this at the thrift store, it didn't smell bad or anything. It actually smells really good. I just gave it a bit of a wipe down and I need to work on wiping down. Oh, there's a mark at the front, but it's gone. I think it's I've wiped it off already. I can't remember doing that. Anyway, um, I really like the condition that it's in. It's just like 
for $25 I was really satisfied um, and yeah sometimes I don't feel like wearing my backpack to uni so um, if I wanted to switch it up and go for a tote bag instead because I'm definitely um, a tote bag person as well I can wear this bag and I just think it's a fun print um, and I'm really happy I bumped into it at the thrift store hello welcome to my life bag I'm excited for it but yeah really cute classy bag um, obviously it is like a replica so it has the like interior pocket and everything um, and it's very very similar to the authentic one except for the fact that there's like really bizarre minor differences like this is um, gold hardware and this has silver hardware it's like little details like that where it's like you can tell but anyway yeah that was my um, cheer national champion from 2020 um, jacket that I kept in there because I think I took this bag with me to work the other day but yeah that's I think the last bag I have to share with you guys today I have some other random like tote bags like I don't know I'll show you like you know obviously I have my reusable bags this is a reusable bag from Lululemon but I won't be showing those to you because they're not as exciting except I like the Ikea one it's like the Balenciaga one guys I lied this is actually my last bag that I have to show you it's a suitcase look how big it is it's like a mini little like travel carry-on um, this was a gift from my boyfriend's mom it's red yeah, that's my suitcase. It's like a cute little, you know. Maybe I'll show you a packing with me video one time when I actually go somewhere with this, but um, I'm not going anywhere for a bit. It's kind of, it's not that quarantine-y. It's not that COVID-y right now in um, Australia, in New South Wales and stuff, but yeah. I got a new suitcase recently, thanks to my boyfriend's mom, and I'm excited. It's really cool on the inside. Um, By the way, look, I did um, different makeup than I usually do today. I have um, lower lash mascara, which I usually never do. I feel a little bit more like, I don't want to say anime, but like I feel like cuter than usual. Usually I'm a little bit more, and now I'm a bit more like eyes open. But yeah, this is the suitcase. It's from a brand called Monsac. And this is the red kind of color. I'm excited to use it. I haven't tried it out yet. I literally got this like, mm, this week. But yeah, new suitcase. That's probably the last, yeah, it is the last bag I have to show you. It weighs three kilos, um, that's all like the details of it, if you can see all that. And it's called the New York Conqueror, and it's actually an expanding case. So you can like unzip it and um, it becomes like larger. This like pops out and it becomes like a little bit, a little bit bigger. So you can like fit more on the way back, you know. If you go shopping when you travel, you can like fit more in this on the way home. Are there any bags on my wish list? Um, I'd love some sort of like Birkin or Birkin dupe. I'd probably never get a real Birkin, but I'd love a dupe version in like a bright color, maybe a pink or an orange, something crazy. Um, I don't have any orange bags in my collection, so that would be kind of fun. Um, I really want an Alma BB just because I really love um, Chanel so much and I really like um, the Louis Vuitton so much, like the classic print. And I think it'd be really cute because it combines my two faves, you know. Um, the Alma BB is the bag that Louis Vuitton made for Gabrielle Chanel, so I feel like it combines my two like favorites. It's like the collab bag, in my opinion. Um, so I'd really like a uh, little Alma BB. I feel like they're also very trendy at the moment. So you know, that's like I don't know. I just feel like I've seen so many people wearing that bag with so many different outfits. I feel like it's a very versatile bag, um, and I've seen a lot of people wearing it recently. That I just feel like. It's a cute bag. It's grown on me so much since I first saw it. Um, I didn't initially like the larger size of the BB. I'm not against it. Like, not the initial size of the BB. BB means it's a small one. Um, I was not as into the initial size that I saw, like the medium Alma. Um, but when I saw the smaller size, I fell in love. I thought it was really cute. Um, but yeah, that's probably some bags on my wish list. I don't really like lust over a lot of bags at the moment. This kind of was the only one I ever like was really excited for. I have a one bag coming in the mail right now, um, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Actually I will. It's it's a it's a go yard dupe. Um but yeah I have a go yard dupe coming in the mail but it'll probably take a very long time to get here but I will show you um that bag when it does arrive so don't you worry um it's on its way and when I get it you'll see it too. I also forgot to say that I've been looking for a little Japanese backpack for ages. I like the black and red traditional style and I also like this really cute pink one that I've been seeing um, on like Pinterest and stuff. It's so cute. I really want one but I can't find one. Um, but yeah, that's all the bags I have to share with you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was a bit random. It wasn't as condensed and like only designer handbags as some other people's here on YouTube, but I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I upload 
upload very frequently up here on YouTube um, and all my socials. You know, you can find me everywhere. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!